LOT Polish Airlines Flight 165 hijacking was the hijacking of a LOT Polish Airlines that occurred on 30 August 1978. The hijackers from East Germany GDR were seeking political asylum in West Germany FRG. The plane landed safely, and the primary hijacker was tried and convicted by a West German jury in the specially convened United States Court for Berlin and sentenced to time served, the nine months he had already served during pretrial detention. Topic. Background The GDR citizens Hans Detlef Alexander Tied aka Detlev Tied and his friend Ingrid Ruski and her 12-year-old daughter had traveled to Poland to meet with Ruski's West German boyfriend Horst Fischer, who had planned to bring forged West German papers to enable their escape by ferry to West German Travemunde. However, Fischer did not turn up, and after four days of waiting for him Rusky and Teed, not having any information as to his whereabouts, concluded that Fischer must have been arrested when traveling through East Germany. Their conclusion was right, as Fischer had indeed been arrested and would later be sentenced to eight years of jail in East Germany for preparing their republic flucht. Desertion from the Republic, a crime under GDR law. Rusky and Teed then concluded that they were trapped and that prison awaited them if they returned to East Germany. So they developed a plan to hijack a plane headed for East Berlin's Schoenfeld Airport and force a landing at the U.S. Air Force Base at Tempelhof Airport in West Berlin. They bought a toy starting pistol at a Polish flea market, and then booked three tickets on LOT Polish Airlines Flight 165 from Gdańsk, Poland, to East Berlin. Topic. Hijacking On 30 August 1978, Teed and Ruski hijacked a Polish lot Tupolev Tu-134 airliner with 62 passengers making flight 165 from Gdańsk to East Berlin. Teed, armed with the toy starting pistol, took a flight attendant hostage and succeeded in forcing the aircraft to land at Tempelhof Airport in West Berlin. Of the 62 passengers, there were 50 GDR citizens, 10 Polish citizens, a man from Munich and a woman from West Berlin. The passengers were given the opportunity to remain in West Berlin or to return to East Berlin. Not only did Teed, Ruski and her daughter claim sanctuary in West Berlin, but so did another seven East Germans, a radiology assistant from Erfurt, a couple with two children and a couple from Leipzig, although the radiology assistant returned to East Germany the next day. The remaining passengers were interviewed and taken to East Berlin on a bus. Topic. Trial The West German federal government was very reluctant to prosecute Tied and Ruski because of the West German policy of supporting the right of East Germans to flee oppression in the GDR. But the United States government had just spent years, finally successfully, persuading the East German government to sign a hijacking treaty. Consequently, the case was prosecuted in the never-before-convened United States Court for Berlin. Over the prosecutor's objections, U.S. Federal Judge Herbert J. Stern ruled that the defendants were entitled to be tried by a jury, a procedure abolished in Germany by the Emminger Reform of 1924. 
The case against Teed's co-defendant Ingrid Rusky was dismissed because she had not been notified of her Miranda rights before signing a confession. Teed was acquitted on three charges, including hijacking and possession of a firearm, but convicted of taking a hostage. The jury found Teed guilty of hostage-taking, but not guilty of acts against the safety of civil aviation, deprivation of liberty and battery. The minimum sentence for hostage-taking was three years. However, Stern sentenced Teed to time served during pretrial detention, about nine months. Stern accounted for Teed's emergency situation and plight to face imprisonment in East Germany for attempted Republic flucht. Topic Aftermath. Two years after his arrest Fischer was released after the West German federal government had paid a ransom to East Germany. Rusky and Fischer married after his release in West Germany. In popular culture The 1984 book which Judge Stern wrote about the event, Judgment in Berlin, was made into a movie in 1988. Martin Sheen depicted him. Topic. See also Eastern Bloc emigration and defection Pan Am Flight 103 bombing trial, another trial by judges from a judiciary other than the host nation. Topic. Notes Topic further reading Ant J. Ravik Strubel. Tupelo 134 in German, the 31st of July 2004 ed. Munich, C.H. Beck. P. 317. ISBN 3-406-52183-5. Stern, Herbert J., Judgment in Berlin, New York, Universe Books, 1984. Topic. External links. Judgment in Berlin on IMDb